Okay, doing one today on the high gain foot warmer. Again, revisit it. Um, I got the correct switch for it here so it doesn't um, have the big ugly switch it came with that, you know, uh, just killed the looks of it. Um, and I did a video on this already where I uh, just wired uh, that switch together and bypassed it, but I got the right switch in. Um, one thing, here's a quick tip you might want to do, especially with amplifiers like these that use these um, um, push button kind of slide switches, is that a lot of times with age and with the way they work, how they, you know, kind of slide on, they're not, you know, like a instant on kind of switch um, they arc eternally and over time they go bad uh, quite often you know the uh, Drake L4 and L7 and the heat kit uh, are a couple other examples that use those type of switches and they both are known for those power switches to go bad because when you turn them on and off you get that surge of them going on and off all the time and especially since they're a slow switch you know they don't pop on and off like a faster switch does so one trick you know instead of turning it on and off with the power switch all the time I use a power strip over here to turn it on and off you know uh, plug it into the power strip with the power strip off had an amp on and then turn the power strip on and off to um, save the switches on these um, big amps like that anyway that's a quick tip but um, this high gain foot warmer uses two 8908 tubes which are not quite unobtainium but they are hard to get and then when you find them they're expensive um, I think Aria Parts sell these uh, 8908s for 100, 100 each these are um, the biggest sweep tube made, uh, 40 watts, and is basically a M2057 tube, if you're familiar with those, but in an octal base. A octal base is that kind of black round base with the big pins here. And this is a, a, a true octal because it uses eight pins. Um, so anyway this 8908 tube is super expensive hard to find uh, you know who wants to pay a hundred a pop for a tube and um, its um, brother the 6LW6 is um, a same 40 watt tube but the pinout is different it's the same tube but the pinout is different same base um, everything's the same they made different versions of those I think those are all 8908s I got about six six LW6s running around and different companies you know some are a little stronger some are um, weaker made some got you know big giant plates um, even one had a um, 8908 had a smaller plate you know on it but basically other than manufacturing changes they're the same too except a 6LW6 has a different pinout than the 8908s so what I finally figured out is you know the different pinouts between the 8908 and the 6LW6 tubes and in this high gain um, I replaced the um, 8908s with 6LW6 and finally got it going. Uh, one of the things that threw me for a loop and had my autism going is this pinout print out of the 6LW6 from um, from the net from the TDSL Duncan amps and that note there pins and it originally said pins one and six are internal connections now my autism read into that that one and six are tied together 
is what I thought that meant. But I was totally wrong. What it actually is, and I tested this on all of them, are that if you see my note and pencil, pin 6 and 2 are tied together. And then also, pins 1 and 5 are tied together. That threw me for a big loop on this thing. So anyway, I made this um, pencil um, pin out of the 8908s. And actually, that's, that's gold here. That's hard to find. You won't find too many people, or I couldn't find it at all, so I did it myself. The pin out of an 8908. The specs of the two will match what an M2057 does, and you can find an M2057. So, this is just a pin out. You know, seven and eight are filaments. Pin four is the cathode. Pin one and five are grid one. Pin three is the screen grid or grid two. And then Pins 2 and 6 are the suppressor grid or grid 3. And then that there's the plate. That's the top or the cap. And that's where the bad news, the power, the voltage, and all that is. So stay away from that. But anyway, that's the pinout of an 8908. And also, I've been wrong all these years about one thing. I always thought an 8908, since I was told it's the... Um, the exact same tooth as the M2057 and it you know looks the same and all that but 8908 is actually a 6 volt filament tube there's even some misinformation on the net about that that you know I see some people on the net as I was trying to look it up myself um, and some people say it's a it's a 12 volt also but the M2057 is a 12 volt filament but it's 12 pin and the 8908 is a six volt filament um, tube. Even this, in this amp, it runs uh, 12 volts from the transformer to the filaments, but they're connected in series on this uh, foot, water, foot warmer amp. And that's even in the schematic if somebody wants to double check that. But. And then going over here to the uh, 6LW6 schematic well pin out seven eighths the filament and that's the same and it's six volt so you know that's direct but it's a few changes on the um, 6WL, 6LW6 pin out pin two and six go to the cathode where over on the 8908 only pin four went to the cathode Pin 1 and 5 went to the screen, just like the uh, 8908. Pin 3 went to, uh, I'm sorry, 1 and 5 went to grid 1. That's the input grid. Pin 3 goes to the screen grid. Same as over here. That's the same. But the suppressor grid, or grid 3 here, on this one, it is actually tied to the cathode pin 2 and 6 on the 6LW6 where the 8908 the suppressor grid is not tied to the cathode and it goes to pins 2 and 6 and then pin 4 is go to the cathode so um, that's a pretty significant difference if you want to, you know, swap these tubes, you got to address the um, cathode issue and the pin out there, right? Um, and by the way, I did one on the M2057, even though that's a 12 pin tube. So the pin outs are, um, you know, uh, vastly different for the 12 pin tube, the M2057. And the M2057 is 12 volt filament. But one thing though and this is very important 
since the suppressor grid is tied to the cathode internally you know that's inside the tube that they uh, uh, have this one suppressor connected to the cathode that the 6LW6 cannot be used as a grounded grid uh, amplifier tube because what happens in grounded grid Instead of using grid one as the input, you know, they ground it. They ground all three of the grids in a grounded grid amplifier. And they put the drive into the cathode here, right? However, this suppressor grid up here, it can't be driven. It doesn't work that way. That needs to be grounded for it to do its job. But since that's tied to the cathode, it can't be grounded. So therefore, you can only use the 6LW6 in a grid-driven, that's grid 1 there, in a grid-driven amplifier. And most amplifiers, at least sweep tubes, are not grid-driven. Grid They're grounded grid. So it wouldn't work. Over here with the 8908s, you can use these as grounded grid because... Um, that suppressor grid and all the grids are separate. They're not tied to each other. Where again, the cathode is tied to um, the suppressor grid here. And also the M2057. The grids are not tied together. So you could use that one as a triode also if you wanted to. Um, so anyway, the 6LW6 only, you would have to address the pinout. And also, again, it will not work in a grounded grid amplifier because the cathode is tied to the suppressor grid. Um, fortunately for me, this foot warmer is um, does not have um, grounded grid. It's grid driven. You know, with the turbocharger and, you know, what I call that screen grid, it's not grounded. And it has voltage on the screen and turbocharge and um, high gain, lots of swing, and it does what it's supposed to do. Again, I got the 6LW6s in there, uh, you know, addressed to pinout. And I actually have it, the pinout on this one, where I could interchange the... Uh, 6LW6s and the 8908. Uh, only other thing, this has got a tuned input. I'm live, so I'm being careful. I'm just zooming in. I'm not, I'm eight inches away. So that's the tuned input tuner there. Um, the 6LW6s, the input is just a little bit different off on the tuning, so I did have to retune the input. Um, other than that, um, this baby is ready to go with the 6LW6s, which can be found much, much, much cheaper than the 8908s. And they even have different filament versions of the 6LW6. I think a 26 filament called a 26LW6 and I think a 36LW6 going from memory. So anyway, this has the um, 6LW6s in it. I got my pin out so I can use either or now. Just have to retune it. And with the 6LW6s in it, on my dummy load on the uh, 2000 watt scale, look like I'm on peak. I want to do average first. So, 2000 watt scale on average. Did Ken about 50, 60, 55. Audio, audio. Audio talking about 250. <whistles> Swing about 325 average. And by the way, this amp has a uh, drive of, uh, I think it's called drive. Let's carefully turn it around and see. Yeah, drive control in the back. And that's the bias since it's turbocharged. Uh, you can take the, uh, by the drive control and which is to bias and take the dead key up and down on this but last we're gonna put it on peak audio 
アーリアオアーリアオアーリアオ Swing about 425 アーリアオ with the 6LW6s in it So anyway that's gonna be it for this one um 8908s almost unobtainium but uh 6LW6s and the higher filament versions can be found for relatively cheap, especially for the uh, big bad uh, biggest sweep tube uh, made, the uh, M2057 aka 8908, you know, with a different base, and aka the uh, 6LW6, which is the 8908 with a different pinout. But again, the 6LW6 cannot be used in a grounded grid. Like a Golden Falcon uses 8908s, but it's grounded grid. So uh, unless you address that grounded grid and turn it into a uh, grid-driven amplifier, which would be a lot of work, a lot of modifying, uh, 6LW6 won't work in that. All right, that's it for this one. Bye.